Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming to this session. Um, it's called uh, Hospitality Helps, um, but we'll explain kind of a little bit about uh, what that means and how uh, we use Drupal to help um, refugees from Ukraine to, to find accommodation in those first few days and weeks after um, the war started. So just to give you a bit of background, um, it all basically revolves around a, a website um, that was built in about 2011. Um, Titi's going to tell you a bit more about. Um, built using Drupal 7. Um, it's a business called Hotel Swaps, um, small uh, digital startup, basically built on the premise that most hotels um, will, will rarely be at full occupancy, so they'll have a, a number of hotel rooms that are just not used. Um, and actually, um, the, this uh, business was designed to help them to monetize that by um, joining a community where they could swap those hotel rooms and either use it for staff incentives to enable staff that worked in a hotel to then be able to uh, book nights in other hotels, um, and uh, but also as potentially as customer loyalty programs. So again, um, enabling customers to um, be able to book hotels or kind of earn some loyalty credits that they could then redeem against hotels. Um, and it, and it kind of works not just with groups of hotels, but in particular with small independent hotels who perhaps don't benefit from all of the things that bigger hotel chains um, do benefit from. Um, and one of the key things which made it, um, uh, which created the opportunity um, that we're going to talk about is that it was built around a currency system. So effectively you could trade this virtual currency for hotel rooms. Um, and in terms of the timeline, basically um, pretty much straight after the, uh, the war started, um, we were contacted by the, the team at Hotel Swaps um, because they had been contacted by uh, people uh, in Ukraine um, who were looking for an o a way of connecting hotels with refugees to be able to provide that emergency accommodation. Um, so literally, um, you know, kind of from that first contact, um, we uh, got a website up and running within kind of pretty much 24 hours, um, then literally went straight into starting to communicate it so that people could then start booking hotel rooms. Um, by the 3rd of March, um, the first hotel was listed on, ho on Hospitality Helps, um, and then the first booking, just you know, literally hours later. So uh, to tell you kind of how that happened over that 24 to 36 hour period, um, I'm going to hand over to Titi. Thank you. Um, yeah, so in the next few slides I'll explain a bit uh, about the original site build and how we converted it uh, you know, almost overnight into a platform for helping uh, people fleeing the war. Um, yeah, as Will mentioned, it was built in uh, 2011 in uh, Drupal 7. A little fun fact, it was built by my wife who worked at Zucha then. <coughs> and um, yeah, it's got a relatively custom uh, booking flow with uh, you know requirements such as have it being able to book a minimum number of nights, so in blocks of five or seven nights at a time. Um, it's got a concept of reservation requests where there might not be availability, but uh, someone can uh, make a request to a hotel and um, the hotel can then think whether they can accommodate them and they can accept that request and it becomes an instant uh, booking then. Um, and like Will said, it uses this custom currency called um, hotel coins that the hotels distribute to their staff or through loyalty uh, programs. And it was built, it is built in uh, over on top of uh, Drupal Commerce. So it's still got a, res a flat reservation fee, for example, uh, for, um, for the, the hotel swaps uh, platform itself. So when you do a booking. Um, so the way um, we managed to do this as a quick turnaround, um, yeah, just basically overnight, uh, was by cloning the original hotel swaps um, code base, so that we st we still had uh, immediately available all the custom the custom theme, the uh, booking flow, or the the custom currency, and uh, at the same time cloned the database, so we had all the views, reports, everything uh, you know, commerce set up, and uh, yeah, moved this into a, into a separate uh, 
database. And then we needed to start with a clean slate. So we've uh, written a script to empty it of any meaningful content, like hotels, availability, orders, everything uh, was gone. And we were left with the you know, bare minimum of a uh, homepage, the uh, registration, which was still needed, and um, some information pages. And then um, the main thing we needed to do was uh, simplify it as much as possible so that people you know, under stress were able to easily find what they needed to find and, uh, and book the start the booking flow. So we simplified the booking logic by making everything, all the hotels be one hotel coin equals one night. So you don't have you know, seasonality or hotel categories like one star, five stars, it doesn't matter. Uh, <coughs> we've introduced the booking limit, so everybody received five hotel coins, uh, registration that they could use, you know, say five nights in one hotel, or they could use two nights here, three nights there, depending on where they were traveling through Europe. Um, and then, obviously, we didn't need the reservation request because they needed to just book instant availability, so we've removed that to, again, simplify it and not um, overcomplicate things. Um, being built in Drupal meant that we could easily you know, remove unnecessary things like the checkout process, remove the payment gateway, uh, update emails so you only get your confirmation email rather than you know, welcome emails and all the uh, payment summary when there wasn't any payment summary to receive. So all that was simplified. And then obviously besides the website, we've cloned the infrastructure. So uh, that was achieved by easily creating snapshots and images of the existing uh, instances in AWS and you know, increasing the capacity uh, to handle the extra traffic and very quickly be able to push this uh, website uh, live. And uh, yeah, we kind of expected an exponential increase in, in traffic and potential DDoS, so we've added a Cloudflare CDN on top of it to mitigate any potential attacks. And yeah, luckily, uh, you know, through the seven months that it's been live, we haven't had any incidents or any, you know, DDoS attacks, but yeah, that's that's good. Um, and I'll hand it over back to Will to talk a bit about the impact, you know, building this website had. Yeah, and I mean, we work with quite a lot of uh, like governments, charities, not-for-profits. Um, so there is a quite a tangible social um, or community impact with a lot of the work we do. But this was particularly re rewarding in the ref in the, the fact that um, you could see literally the instant impact. So um, in terms of numbers, um, so well over two hundred thousand um, people, that, you know, that we that we were able to help. Um, so about five percent of all Ukrainian refugees, um, based on the, the numbers at the time of that uh, slide was written. Um, and but it probably was more. So that was the number of accounts that were created. But we know, um, and I'll give you some examples um, where f one family member would create the account, but then actually book on behalf of their whole family. So we expect that the number is quite a lot higher than the two hundred thousand. Um, as it reached its peak, there was over 600 hotels that were on the platform donating rooms to refugees, um, and it included the big groups, so people like Hilton, Marriott, um, etc., uh, but also some of the smaller groups and also independents. So, you know, if you were just a, a bed and breakfast, um, you know, small independent business or hotel, you could register on the platform and, and start l instantly uh, making rooms available. Um, and yeah, in those few weeks um, after, um, nearly 50,000 reservations um, for almost 100,000 room nights. Um, and yeah, one of the interesting ones was um, we, we put on there a map so that people could easily find hotels. Um, and instantly we were kind of starting to rack up some quite big uh, Google bills, um, but they um, agreed to, to refund all of those, which was quite nice of them. Um, and also, similarly, AWS, the, the infrastructure that TT talked about, um, was provided for free by AWS, so um, it was quite nice. To, yeah, good, good collaboration. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, in terms of traffic, so obviously you can see it was, it was designed really to, to provide that immediate support for people as they were fleeing. Um, so we, we had expected to see this big spike and then a gradual tail off, which is kind of ex exactly what we got. And then uh, essentially started to come to a close towards, I think, middle of June. Um, so 
Um, but really, you know, the, the real impact um, and the thing that I think um, is the most rewarding for us being part of it is, is, the, human, is the human side. Um, so there's, you know, quite a few stories that we've seen like this and even, um, I think TTU was saying on the website, people could leave comments yeah. and, and thank you. But yeah, I mean, literally people who um, had to flee at really short notice and um, we're, we're taking young children with them um, and this found, a, you know, a way for them to actually have somewhere to stay, have some emergency ac accommodation um, while they figured out what they were going to do um, as they were kind of leaving their homes, basically. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been a really rewarding activity to have been involved in. So, um, and then that's just a copy of the homepage. <laughs> So it's not exactly a question, rather a comment. So uh, me and Anatoly here being the representatives of Ukrainian Drupal community. It's absolutely heartwarming to see uh, such amazing initiatives. And uh, thank you. <laughs> really, your, your, your initiative, I, I'm very sure it, uh, it changed life and it helped so many people that did not have any, any place to go. So yeah, that's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, for me, also not uh, not going to make any question. Actually, just also on the positive uh, uh, feedback side, um, it's uh, really inspiring to see uh, this kind of project, and it really opens my mind uh, on on the side that it it can be done like very quickly, and it's just uh, as simple as cloning something that's done already, and it and it just can create so much impact. And I I never really thought about that, but it's. Yeah, it, it can be done very quickly and uh, it can have a huge impact. And, so yeah. and uh, thank you for uh, showing that to us now. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Great. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>